Right now, we are tracking the tropics and the three systems in the Atlantic, Jerry, Karen, and Lorenzo. Tonight, the focus is on Karen and its impact on Puerto Rico. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer has the latest advisory at 11. Craig? Yep, Karen has been crossing Puerto Rico this evening, bringing very, very heavy rains and some wind with it, but the rain has been the big deal. The center, though, is to the north of the Virgin Islands. I'll show you that the storm remains lopsided now with the worst of the weather right over Puerto Rico. Winds 45 miles an hour. It's moving pretty quickly now to the north, northeast at 14, and that motion is going to continue for a couple of days, and then all of a sudden it's going to stop. In fact, there's the forecast track through Thursday, and think and well, that's good. It's heading north, heading out to sea, but then there's the Friday forecast, the Saturday forecast, and the Sunday forecast. Basically just a loop out here and then a turn back to the west. Now, it's not a huge motion between Saturday and Sunday to the west, but it is a motion and uh, we'll have to watch it here. There's no threat to South Florida through the weekend or the Bahamas. This is Sunday evening, but certainly something we're going to have to watch. In terms of the radar out of uh, San Juan tonight, you can see all the thunderstorms here, but uh, Hurricane Hunter planes have been flying, finding the center of the circulation is out there to the northeast of all these thunderstorms. In fact, when you look at the satellite loop, you can see there is the latest position on the center of Karen, but look at all the thunderstorms dumping tremendous amounts of rain on Puerto Rico. So the uh, tropical storm warnings remain in effect through the night tonight. They will probably likely be dropped tomorrow. And then here's this huge blob of uncertainty. What's helping to make that up? Well, it's the models which take it to the north and then kind of swirl around there and gradually come back to the west. But once again, no threat to us for the time being. Obviously, we'll keep our eyes on it. More on that in our forecast coming up. All right, Craig, thank you very much.